in point of sale application, who should be responsible for creating the sales line item instance. Perhaps we should look for a class that aggregates or contains the instances of sales line items. Since sale contains in fact, aggregates many sales line item objects, the suggestion is that sale is a good candidate to have the responsibility of creating the instances of sales line items. Accordingly, this yields a particular design of interactions between objects. This assignment of responsibilities requires that a make line item method should be defined inside the sale class. Once again, the context in which these responsibilities were considered and decided upon was the driving force for the sequence diagram presented here. The method section of a class diagram summarizes the results of responsibility assignment. Later, Class methods concretely realize these responsibilities. Coupling is a measure of how strongly one element is connected to. Has the knowledge of. Or relies on. The other elements. An element with low or weak coupling is not dependent on too many other elements. The expression too many is highly context dependent. It needs to be examined on a case by case basis. These elements include classes, subsystems, systems, and so forth. A class with high or strong coupling relies on many of other classes. Such classes may be undesirable. Some suffer from the following problems. Changes inside related classes also force local changes. The classes with strong internal connection are harder to understand in isolation. Such classes are also harder to reuse, because they require presence of additional classes on which they are dependent. Consider the following partial class diagram, taken from a point of sale case study. We might want to assign responsibilities to classes so that coupling between instances remains low. This principle benefits low dependency, low change impact, and increased possibility for reusing objects. Assume we have a need to create a payment instance and to connect the new object with the corresponding sale. What class should be responsible for this type of action? Since a register records a payment in the real world domain, the register is a candidate for creating the payment. The instance of register class can then send message to add payment to the sale object passing along the new payment, as a parameter. This assignment of responsibilities strongly couples the register class to the knowledge of the payment class. An alternative solution to creating the payment and associating it with the sale, could be done as follows. This is an example of a low coupling solution. Under alternative scenario, the sale makes the creation of a payment object. The register no longer has knowledge of payment. Low coupling becomes a useful principle to keep in mind during many design decisions. This is an underlying goal to continually consider. Low coupling supports the design of classes that are more independent, which reduces the impact of future changes. This solution becomes one of several design principles that influence a choice in assigning responsibility between classes. 
cuddling and cohesion, which is described next, are truly fundamental principles in design, and should be appreciated and applied as such by all software developers. Functional cohesion is a method of measuring how strongly related and focused the responsibilities of an element are. An element with highly related responsibilities, and which does not do a tremendous load of work has a high cohesion. These elements include classes, subsystems, and so forth. The class with low cohesion is overwhelmed by many unrelated things, or does too much work. Having such classes is undesirable, they suffer from the following problems. Hard to comprehend. Hard to reuse. Hard to maintain. Too delicate, constantly affected by change. This might indicate that classes have taken on responsibilities that should have been delegated to other objects.